guys and welcome back to my channel. I am starting another challenge if you haven't seen my create a sim video yet. Um, I'm going to be doing the big brother challenge. So I created eight sims, moving them into a house, and then we'll be voting one out each week. I'm going to give them some different kinds of skills and things and then see which one has the highest skills or and the lowest skills and the ones with the lowest skills will be kicked out of the house. I'll probably just move them out, but, you know, it's always fun to kill your sims, so you might be able to talk me into having a little bit more fun with that. Just let me know. Uh, I haven't actually gotten that far yet. <laughs> I have played through the first day, but that was kind of just to get a read on their personalities and if make sure everything in the house was working right. So, I haven't actually started the challenge yet, although I will be starting it probably today and this video won't be published for like another couple of weeks so uh, by, by the time you see this I'll probably already be going in it but hey still give me your ideas tips tricks whatever you feel like doing I'll have I have one of each occult in the house um, vampire alien and mermaid so that's pretty fun mermaids like angry all the time too so this is it's gonna be entertaining so, back to actually building the house. I wanted to do, I wanted to build in Solani, the new place that came with Island Living. And you can build over the water now, and you can do stilts over the water, and they can jump in and swim, and it's just so cool. And I haven't got to actually play in here yet, because all of my other Let's Plays are just games in general, are in the other neighborhoods, and so this will be, I, this is fun. <laughs> I wanted to test out some of the new stuff and see how things worked and some of the new uh, designs that we had. As you can see, I hate adding roofs. I actually have a house that I've played in for a while that doesn't have a roof on it because I built the whole thing and then I was so mad about the roof I just left it off because it's not like I'll ever see it anyway. But I wanted to put a roof on this one since I'll be uploading it to the gallery and I just I just couldn't get it. I had started with a floor plan but I kind of just mixed it up after I sort of built it. So I just I honestly didn't have much of a plan here and you can really see I worked on this for probably a total of four or five hours over the course of two days. So yeah, definitely this speed here helps. When I uploaded it, it was like over four hours or when I added it into my editing before I sped it up. So you're welcome. Even I was getting bored with it. Um, I think it ends up really pretty at the end of it, but at this point I was like, uh... I knew I wanted three bedrooms, one of them really nice and really well decorated and, you know, would just kind of up their mood when they were in that room and then one with like super uncomfortable beds and a whole bunch of them and then one that was kind of in between. So those rooms are in there. I wasn't sure what I was going to do with the bathroom at this point. Um, I was thinking of doing like an in-suite to like the main bedroom there up front and uh sauna but then I ended up completely changing my mind as time went on. I didn't want them all to die of embarrassment right off the bat that just isn't fun. And so I was still going around trying to figure out the windows where I wanted stuff placed and how I was going to make that stupid bathroom work. So there's lots and lots of rearranging in this little middle part of the house for quite a while as I tried to figure it out. And then I eventually just gave up and started working on the other rooms, which I think happens several times. I start working on the bathroom, I get fed up, and then I work on something else. Um, and yeah, I actually go back even after I've decorated some things and changed them up again. So that's where I was still trying to figure out what to do with that bathroom. And I had added in like a really long, skinny two tile wide piece there in the middle that I thought was going to be a bathroom but I don't, I don't think it actually worked out that way uh, not in the end so 
yeah, I t- gave up on that and started working on that living room. I wanted to use, like I said, I wanted to use some of the new pieces from Island Living. Just, it, it's such a pretty pack. Everything in it, those, I love those new window covers, which I end up using, I think, on every window at the end of it. I wanted to use, I want to decorate the rooms a little more specifically, but since they weren't being made for anyone specific, I, they, everything actually ends up being kind of similar at the end of the day, since there won't be putting claims on beds or anything, so. I don't, it, it ends up looking more, I don't know, I would think almost more like a resort or like a bed breakfast or something where it's not specific to any one person, just a little bit of everything. But, you know, it is a beach house for a big brother challenge, but it's not like anyone's ever going to actually live here, so it should look feel more like a resort. A little more cool, I think. Oh, so I was trying to put in the ladder, and I had no idea how the new ladders were supposed to work. I actually ended up having to look it up. And it has to be over deep water, and blah, 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 blah. So I added in this extra little piece out over the water, because it dips down, like, just right past that porch. So I had to extend it out, which I think worked out. I think I think it still looks really cute. It kind of, how you would do a dock uh, for your boat. I've only been to the ocean a couple times, so that's how it is on lakes, so it seems like the same idea. And then the bathroom, that's not a bathroom, kitchen. I, I don't know, I wanted a nice, cute, well-decorated, pretty kitchen. Uh, I end up putting windows in eventually. I just needed to know where the ends of, the, where everything was going to go before I added in the windows. I wasn't happy with that long, huge hallway there in the middle. I mean, if this is supposed to be all resort-like, you don't want all that indoor blank space. So I ended up changing that, too. Like I said, I I changed this a lot after I built it out. Uh, I always forget about cabinets, so I threw those in. I think when you've got, like, the views with, like, the walls down, you can't see them anyway, so I always forget they're there, even if they are. Um, but yeah, and then that's a new piece that came with the pack, which I had almost forgot about. I was wanting to put shelves and I went, Ooh, this is pretty. And use that instead. I love decorating the countertops. I have to be really careful not to take up the whole countertop with decoration since you actually need to be able to cook food on the counters, but eh, whenever I can add a little bit, I will. And then I was trying to figure out what to put on that wall. I could have sworn there was new artwork that came with Island Living, but I couldn't find it, so I just used that. Uh, and then, then the kitchen table. I wanted eight spots for people to sit, but I didn't really leave enough room there in that dining room nook with the windows and that big old archway and all that for it to all work comfortably. So I ended up going, I think, with a six person table instead of a eight person table. But yeah, you can see I tried and tried and tried and rearranged and tried some more. Um, and then I, I thought we had that new island living table, but oh, and then I tried to do something like a cafe where you would have like four and four, but that didn't fit either. Um, so that is the new I- table. I think new chairs too. No, I just, I like this beachy feel. Everything's warm colors and lots of light and uh, I thought it was pretty. Oh then, yeah, this is those doors. I couldn't remember what I was doing in that space because I kept starting over and quitting again. So I, I thought maybe having like two little rooms, the one with the shower and one with the toilet, and then they would just have, like, two bathrooms, and I didn't necessarily want to, like, you know, make it difficult to have bathrooms in here. I didn't, this wasn't like I was trying to, you know, make it so people were peeing themselves all the time or anything. I wanted it comfortable and cool, 
but there are eight sims, so you need a lot of bathrooms. So yeah, there I gave up on the bathroom again and went back to that bedroom. This is this will be the room with a double bed, but everything is really nice. I had to fix that roof when I adjusted the room. <laughs> it's just like oh, I was trying to figure out how to do the the foundation again. All right, so I wanted that room to be really pretty, but the Sims would have to like each other enough to share the bed. Oh, and then I had a inspiration on that bathroom, so then I gave up on the bedroom again. <laughs> like I said, I go back and forth a lot between these two rooms uh, before I finally give in. But yeah, I was I was getting pretty frustrated, and then I decided to split it into four bathing spots with three showers and a tub and then four I believe it's four toilets so it's almost like a bathroom that you would find it like a store or something and then a space for a sink oh and I was adjusting the wall height I always forget about that and the walls always seem like really really tall so there, I was adding in all the doors for the showers, and then the bathroom, the toilets. Yeah, I think there are four toilets, and then that space for the sinks. So, I mean, not everyone could go to the bathroom at the same time. They don't all need to, I just wanted them to be able to. The weird things you think about when you're playing The Sims. I can never get those toilet rolls where I want them. Like, down next to the toilet, they always automatically go, like, halfway up the wall. And it's so frustrating. And the only way for me to get it to go where I actually want it is if I'm looking into the room with all of the walls up. And there was no way I was going to be able to do that here. Sorry, I got a text message. So, here is the other bedroom. The one that's going to be just awful to sleep in. I wanted it to still be pretty, but I think the beds only have maybe one comfort or something. <laughs> Adjusted the rooms again. Yeah, all the walls end up just being the same instead of individual colors. And then that back bedroom, those are two really nice beds. Um, so yeah, I, I forgot that I wanted shelves in the kitchen, so I added that in there. And then I wanted to make this bedroom really nice. This is actually the day two that I came back and started working on it. So this is pretty much like all decorating all the time. I just hadn't, I had no plan. Usually I go into this and I have a general idea and I just, I just didn't. I think it was just having no idea who was going to be sleeping in these rooms. But yeah, lots, lots of decorations, lots of pretties. I, I'm having so much fun just figuring out where everything is in here and like what will go on, what, and the clutter. The clutter is entertaining. And lots of artwork because that is a mood lifter for The Sims is you know well decorated rooms. So wanted to make sure this room was good and well decorated. And then a nice big mirror there in between those windows. And again, I was trying to do something else with the curtains, but, you know, it just, it just looked bad. So I went back to those pretty new ones that we have. And then, uh, I think that's a new one too, just over that window. It looks good with that bed. And then a rug. I am figuring out how to change colors of the rug, so that's, or colors of everything. I figured out the shortcut is a plus and minus, so you don't have to just guess anymore. I guess he never had to, I just didn't know the shortcut. I'm learning, okay? I'm sorry, my dog is thumping something on the floor in the background. Alright, and then bathroom floors, all tile. And I wasn't going to be able to do a whole lot of decorating in here since there wasn't actually counter space. But, you know, mirrors and towels and things seemed like 
something that was needed and a little bit of art and then that's where I decided to completely change up the kitchen again <laughs> I just took out those walls that were blocking it off and made it more of an open floor plan so I was able to move the dining room table out a little bit in between the hallway and the kitchen living room space so now it's just they can eat in the living room they can eat in the dining room and it's just much much more open much more bright less claustrophobic I don't think I even put the curtains up in that awful bedroom in the middle <laughs> they have no decorations and then I wanted to give a little bit of privacy here in this back room that has the two nicer beds it turned out those lamp lights I was trying to use weren't working and there's artwork on that wall that was in the way so I don't know if any of the sims and just the one time I was playing were able to actually get in this room and use it all since I end up having those two screens relatively close to each other but I think it'll be fine I may end up having to move something well we'll see but again I wanted this one to be decorated and pretty and you know a place to up their mood if they're sleeping in there or sitting on the bed doing something the only thing they have is a bookshelf so they do a lot of reading <laughs> that's kind of it I it's supposed to be big brother right so there's supposed to be removed from society so no TV and no radio and then this room back in this corner is going to be where I will put all the skill building things. Because that was, that was one of the things that was bothering me. Like they'll have like a painting week where I'll give them all an easel and see who gets the highest painting skill. So I needed somewhere to put eight easels. So this well lit little room back here will be where I, I put exercise equipment or easels or whatever the skill is for that week. And then that way it's not in the house, but it's right there. And I didn't want to go up a level because it was it would be harder to watch and see what they were all doing. So I definitely wanted a single floor plan on this one. And then it took me forever to find those glass floor tiles. They are not in the flooring as you would expect. They are in decoration miscellaneous. So in case you need a glass floor tile, that's where they are. They're not even called glass floor tiles. I had to Google it. It's something weird. But I found them. So now they could go out on that little space sticking out and get to the ladder and be on the glass floor and see the ocean. And it'll be so pretty. And then a little bit of extra, extra decorating, landscaping, now that the house is done. They do have a bush where they can woohoo because uh, why not? <laughs> And again, I changed the roof because I was just not happy with it. So, change, change, change all the time. I'm not going to make any more changes unless I absolutely have to now that the house build is done. But I just, I just wanted it to be pretty. Like if I was looking out in the world and it was there, I just wanted to look nice. Because I'll probably just leave this house here. <laughs> oh yeah, and the roof was cutting into that little thing there in that corner that has that bench under it with all the little curtains and stuff and then I realized that you can't place columns while you are on a different level so it took me a minute to figure out where that one column was supposed to go so yeah I just constantly readjusting the roofs because I'm still not happy with them but you know, it's fine <laughs> it's fine and there it is there's the house three bedrooms I, I wasn't sure if that counted as one bathroom or four bathrooms I, I don't know I ended up actually changing the lot trait after I played it for that one day period so it's now the island one gnomes and I think homie uh, the other one can tribal or whatever it is it, it was causing them to be confident all the time and it was really annoying so here it is. If you wanted to find this house, it's up on the gallery. My name is Cricket126 on the gallery. And it's the Big Brother Beach House. The, house, the family is also up there. So feel free, download, play, change, do whatever you want. Let me know if you do change it. I'd love to see what you've done with it. 
and I'll talk to you next time. Toodles!